This is just a quick uh, condition video for our 2012 Nissan Navara. This is the three litre V6 Outlaw model. Um, so basically the sort of top of the range um, from the time. Uh, it's in extremely nice uh, condition all the way around. Uh, the uh, the previous owner uh, was a builder, but uh, but basically just used to use it for site visits rather than um, than actually doing any sort of heavy duty work or anything like that. Um, so the um, the whole sort of interior of the car um, is uh, is is fantastic, all in uh, really lovely condition. Um, and you also note the the lack of a tow bar. Um, so like I said, it's really not done any any heavy work at all. Um, certainly never towed a, uh, a boat and put it into water or anything like that. Um, the back of the truck is extremely good. Obviously you just get the scratching on the, the metal bits there as you kind of expect, um, but certainly nothing excessive all the way around and the load liner and everything like that has all been in place um, to, uh, to protect that. Um, it's got this uh, truckman style top on the back as you'll see. It's the sort of the slanted coupe version. Um, that's on the back. Uh, if I was going to point out anything, it would just be that there's um, some very sort of light, um, like cracking and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure whether these are made of fiberglass or, or quite what the um, the material is, but um, there's basically been a small dent just at the top there. It's easy to see, just so you just see that, that where it's been pushed in slightly there, um, and like I said, just some sort of very very light cracking um, around the top, um, and then just a few sort of scratches around the the handle there but that's pretty much the only bit the only sort of bodywork blemish on the entire vehicle um, I'll put a um, include a, a sort of separate photograph of that um, once it's dry and everything like that just to show you but um, that really is the uh, the only thing that that there is to point out the rest of the bodywork's actually in fantastic condition uh, there's not really any dents or marks all the way around it um, bonnet free of any major stone chips or anything like that you're obviously going to get the odd one that has done 125,000 miles um, and really just some very very light grazing just on the corners there and that's pretty much it really there's nothing else to to mention they're just sort of light bush scratches that we'll polish out but if you just have a look all the way down you'll see the conditions really really nice just a bit of dirt there that's absolutely fine so yeah overall very very good condition indeed the interior is beautiful even things like the leather bolster hardly anywhere to any of that all the dashboard free of any major scratches or marks or anything like i said it's really not done a hard day's work you've got the electric sunroof up there it's a full crew cab so you've got three seat belts in the back and again, the leather all in really nice condition. As you'll see, uh, it's the top of the range model, so we have the Bose sound system. You've got all this sort of quite nice leather stitching and everything like that across the door. You've got the um, upgraded diamond cut alloy wheels. Uh, now these have, have not really suffered from any curb damage, um, but you will just see that you've got sort of light surface corrosion just underneath there. It's quite common on diamond cut wheels. Uh, the only way to get rid of that is to um, to have the acid dipped and, and fully refurbished. But basically, rather than any specific damage, um, it is actually just uh, just the sort of um, the bubbling up underneath the lacquer and things like that. Unfortunately, suffers on all all vehicles, BMWs, Mercedes, and everything like that, exactly the same. But um, it's quite a shame that they're on there. They're all they're all suffering a little bit. But as you can actually see from the rest of the wheel, um, it's not being caused by any sort of crashing into curbs or off-roading or anything like that um, like I said it's it's a very very clean car underneath um, and uh, that's just simply sort of time not being particularly friendly to the alloy wheels but overall like I said really really stunning condition you've got the big roof rack up on there and then we come through to the driver's side we have um, electric seats um, all of your uh, electric window motors and like that uh, power folding door mirrors we have cruise control on the steering wheel uh, and a multifunction steering wheel for all of your media buttons and all that kind of stuff as well. Just had it serviced, uh, so you've got 12,500 miles until that's due again. All of your sort of 4x4 switchable bits and pieces are down here. We also have heated seats for the leather, for the, um, for the front seats, for the driver and passenger. Uh, 
dual zone climate control and then you've got a full sort of media system up here with your radio. Uh, it's got an onboard storage hard drive for music and everything like that in there, as well as auxiliary connections and um, Bluetooth as well. Um, so you can use your, your phone to, uh, to stream music or also to, to obviously make voice calls. Um, and then we also have satellite navigation. Um, it's a full sort of touchscreen system up there and a uh, really good sat nav system, as we'll see as well. So uh, I hope this sort of gives you a good idea. So mileage today, 125, 813. But like I said, for one of these vehicles, it really is in really lovely condition. Um, other bits and pieces, automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers and things like that. Um, starts beautifully on the button every single time. Revs really cleanly. And is all round just a very, very nice vehicle. Um, if we can help with any further information, please do let us know and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.